The Miami Dolphins frustration being felt all the way up in Tallahassee after a renovation plan falls short of the goal line. The Finns front office accusing Florida's House Speaker of putting politics over the people. Simmons Rosh Lowe has the details on the Sun Life saga. We believe that Speaker Weatherford, for whatever reason, decided this was in his political best interest to make his vote count more than the voters of Miami-Dade. Mike D, the Miami Dolphins CEO, has had a few days to digest what can only be described as a major loss for the Dolphins. They were hoping the Florida legislature would at least allow the voters of Miami-Dade County to have their voices heard on whether or not there should be public participation in a $350 million modernization plan of Sun Life Stadium. It never got to that point because the Speaker of the Florida House of Representatives, Will Weatherford, refused to allow the bill to be heard. He'll need to rely on that experience here in the last minute of this game. The Dolphins were hoping their plan, which called for the public funding to come from a hotel bed tax in mainland Miami-Dade County, would get to a May 14th referendum. Florida Governor Rick Scott also wanted the voters to decide. It was a significant disappointment uh, that uh, uh, the House didn't take it up for a vote. Will Weatherford, did he give you his assurances that the voters at least would get a chance to vote on this? No fewer than four times did Will Weatherford say to us, the process will not kill your bill. I can't tell you that you have the number of votes and I can't deliver votes, but if you have the votes, the process will allow for your bill to be heard. So now what? Will Dolphins owner Stephen Ross invest his own money into better seating, upgraded lighting, and a canopy? To cherry pick a few and, you know, pick uh, some a la carte improvements that would maybe uh, improve certain things without addressing the overall issue, we believe uh, is not a plan that works. And what happens to those votes that were cast early? Well, they will not be tabulated. The future, at least here at Sun Life Stadium, is uh, uncertain. In the meantime, Speaker that he was committed to bringing up the bill. He says he understands the disappointment of those who supported the bill. However, he goes on to say the bill, quote, did not have the necessary support for passage and that the feedback from Miami-Dade was negative and there were concerns expressed by members on both sides of the aisle. He says, quote, I don't think Floridians are all that interested in giving hundreds of millions of dollars in taxpayer money to wealthy sports team owners, end quote. And Dolphin CEO Mike D tells me that their own internal polling showed that they were gaining momentum here in terms of passing this referendum. And he believes this was stopped up there in Tallahassee because they knew that. But you heard from the Speaker of the House. He says he was never committed to bringing this bill to the floor of the House. Outside Sun Life Stadium, Rosh Lowe, today in Florida.